Hello, Doc. What do we have here? Right, so Ms. Bevan, this is uh, required practical 7, part B. Yep. So we are going to be um, measuring the rate of reaction by measuring how much hydrogen gas is produced when uh, hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium. Right, all right. Tell us, um, what do we start with? Okay, so we talk you through the experiment. We're yep. going to put some um, hydrochloric acid. We're going to measure out 50 centimetres cubed into this um, measuring cylinder. So I'm going to use a funnel to be safe. And I'm wearing my lab glasses as well. So I'm going to get down to eye level. You know I you see can. the eye level again. Okay. Well done. And so I'm going to measure out quite confidently um, up to around 40 or 45. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to switch then to use a... Um, dropping from that instead because I want to be quite accurate with my, um, my measurement so now I'm going to change and place that in and I'm going to bring this quite close get down to eye level and then I am going to get my eyes in line with 50. What do you do when there's bubbles in there? Um, How well, do you remove them? So generally uh, the bubbles might hopefully dissipate by themselves um, we, we could, so if you just give them a little bit of time, you can see they mostly disappear. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do now is you can probably see a little bit of the um, meniscus that we have. Yeah, now the meniscus is really clear. Uh, so the little curvature. So I want to get the bottom of that meniscus curve right on 50. Uh, I think I need a tiny drop. Wow. To be really kind of good with this. Okay. Amazing. Okay, there we go. And then? So... I am going to take my 50 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid, mm -hmm. put it into my conical flask. So this conical flask is a little bit different because, as you can see on the side, it's got... Oh, yeah, it's got an arm. It's got an arm. It's got an arm which goes to this delivery tube. Yeah. Which connects it to our gas syringe. I see. And the gas syringe will measure the volume of hydrogen gas produced. Right. So this is... A gas syringe is really good for when you're measuring things like hydrogen gas. It wouldn't be so good for this experiment wouldn't work so well if we had co2 for example okay um, okay because co2 would dissolve in the water mm. so um, what we need to do here is i'm going to place in my piece of magnesium and then at the same time i'm going to put this bung in and then i'm going to start the clock i'm going to try and do all of those things at the same do you time. want me to help you shall i yeah, start the clock when you, you tell me right okay so um three. when this hits the the yeah when yeah. The, when the magnesium hits i'm dropping right. three two one Put that in very, very firmly. And then what do you do? So every 15 seconds, yeah. I'm going to record the volume of my hydrogen gas produced. Oh, it keeps changing though. So I'm making sure that this is the thing. I'll be, I'll be holding. Okay. I'll be holding. And that is, yeah, that's the first one there. Oops. So we expect it to be very, very quick at the start, and then it's going to slow down as we go. Why is that? 27, 28, in one second. Sorry. That's fine. Yep. Can multitask, can you? <laughs> so, um, if you think about the rate of a reaction, it's going to be very, very quick at the beginning because we've got plenty of both of our reactants. But then as the reactants get used up... Um, Pause. As the reactants get used up, the rate of reaction is going to slow down. Sure. <laughs> So it's actually working rather well today. Can I take a look at your yeah, table? Of table? Right, what what is this table? So you are showing time yeah. in seconds and volume in centimeters cubed. Yeah, and yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Right. So measuring uh, the volume produced at intervals of 15 seconds. Mm hmm. And we're going to go for two and a half minutes. So we're going to go up to uh, 150 seconds. And you think but that by then it's going to be more... It's going to slow down quite slow, a lot, but it yeah. might even have uh, stopped. Let's see those results. Two more measurements to go. And the 
last one coming up. And there we go. So we stop it there. Up to 35. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. So we are going to repeat this experiment at a, a different concentration. We're going to repeat this at uh, half the concentration. This was 0 0.8 moles per decimeter cubed. Mm -hmm. We're going to repeat this at 0 0.4, and then we're going to look at the effect of concentration on the rate of this reaction. So this yeah. is the gas that was produced. Yeah, this is, so inside there, we've got the, the hydrogen gas that was produced. Yeah. I see. Wow. All right, sir. Thank you. No problem.